Hello, I'm Gareth Jameson. I'm an actor and a voice coach, and I teach people how to make changes to their voice. The key to doing any accent is to identify the specific sounds that only occur in that accent and identify it as different from other sounds. So, if you're doing the Geordie accent, and first of all I should point out that by Geordie here, I'm going to mean a very general northeast of England accent. For some people, Geordie means very specifically Newcastle, for others it means the whole of Tyneside or Tyne and Weir, but this is just a general picture, we'll only do a few features, so this should cover most of that northeast of England area. The first sound we're going to look at that I find the most important is the A sound, the A in hay and eight and lane. This becomes more like ear. So it's almost like two sounds, ear, with a big uh, ear, here, lean, it. So that eight becomes it. Listen to this phrase. I went doon the lean to deer. I went doon the lean to deer. So that's lean, lane is lean, and today is to deer. You might also have noticed that down became doon, doon. Now, this is a little stereotypical with the Toon Army and all that, town becoming Toon, but it does actually happen, especially in more casual speakers, so that Doon becomes, sorry, Down becomes Doon and Town becomes Toon. I actually went to Newcastle a lot in the past, in a previous job, and I will never forget being given directions to drive somewhere and told to gun re room the roundabout. So I find that a really useful phrase. It's sometimes when you're doing accents, it's good to have a phrase that helps you switch the accent on. Gun re room the roundabout is the one that I use for Newcastle. Now the next one is words like brother and water and picture and shopper, words that end in er. Now in British, standard British English, we use uh, brother. But in this Geordie Newcastle accent, it's much, much wider. Brother, wa'a, picture, shopper. Notice that wa'a as well. The T in the middle of water is changed completely, it's gone. It becomes a glottal stop. Now, if you don't know how to do a glottal stop, start with the sound, uh-oh, like there's bad news, uh-oh, and it's the sound you get at the beginning of uh and at the beginning of oh, uh-oh, wa-a, wa-a. So we don't just want wa-a, it's wa-a, with a big break in the middle. That's the glottal stop. Finally, it's the vowel sounds in good and push and love and fun. They're different for me, a Southern English speaker, but for somebody from the Northeast, it's the same vowel. And this is the same for most Northern English accents. So we get good, push, love, and fun. All the same, good, push, love, and fun. Whereas words like hook and look with a double O become hook and luke.